Essentially, someone was inspired to make this new emerging technology that it's allowed more people to be behooved. Hey, welcome to episode 14 of What the Bitcoin. We've got blue always. Today's an afternoon rip. Get our brain where it needs to be so we can operate through the rest of the day. Our fates have aligned fully yet, but we do have our first celebrity here in the OJ Simpson Ford Bronco. I wonder what they think of Bitcoin. If they think Bitcoin is influenced by God. We've got a green light now. We'll have to flip them the deuce. We'll see you in the future, OJ. Hey, good morning. My name is Joshua. Today I'm joined with... Uh, Nolan. Nolan. You just work for Monster Tree Service, or is this your gig, or...? Uh, yes, sir. I work for them. You work for them. How, about, how long have you been doing tree service, man? Uh, about nine months. Nine months? And you, do you like having this here instead of having to put them into the thing yourself? Oh, absolutely. Awesome. Hey, Nolan, what do you think of Bitcoin? Bitcoin? Uh, I don't know a thing about it, honestly. Okay, when did you first hear of Bitcoin? Uh, a few years ago. A few years ago? Do you have any plans to invest? Uh, potentially, yeah. Potentially? When, when do you think a time frame on that would look like for you? Uh, sometime in the next few years. Okay, uh, I would recommend maybe a little sooner than the next few years. When you heard of Bitcoin a couple years ago, it was like $2,000 a coin. It's at like 50000 now. Okay. So, just the... Uh, I'm gonna have to go like this so this guy gets the picture. Yeah, man, in terms of, like, Bitcoin's just really neat, right? You heard about it a couple years ago. What did you hear about it? Did you hear of it as being a positive or a negative? Uh, both, I guess. Okay, both yeah, and then moving forward, do you think there's any chance that Bitcoin is influenced by God? Uh, I, I wouldn't think so. No? And are you a faithful person, Nolan? Uh, so, so. You think of God? Yeah. That's good. Well, no, and I'll let you get back to the day, okay? I see your boss looking at you, man. Don't mean to get you in trouble. I appreciate it, man. No problem. What's your name, sir? Gary. Gary. Yeah. Joshua. Very nice to meet you, Gary. Yeah, you what do you think about Bitcoin, Gary? Um, I think it's a great idea. Okay. How long have you known about Bitcoin? For, since it started, but I've never got into it. I thought it was just a hoax. Okay, and when, since it started... I mean, it used to be 20 cents a coin. Have you known about it that long? Oh, yeah. Really? Wow, Gary. And then it just, you thought it was a hoax or it was used for black market? Is that kind of what yeah. deterred you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. You know, dollars are using the black market too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Shouldn't have let that deter you away. You're right. I shouldn't have. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Any plans to buy in the future, Gary? Uh, I have some Bitcoin now. Oh, you do now? Yeah. Okay, when did you... Uh, a couple months ago. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So you got to uh, ride this recent wave up to fifty nine thousand. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Do you keep up with it daily? The price. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. I mean, it's like any cryptocurrency. You got to keep it up. Very good. And is it a long term hold for you? What, do you yeah, have? Do you trade term. it? No, it's long term. Okay. And Gary, do you own any other cryptocurrencies? Yeah, I own Dogecoin. Dogecoin, yeah. and it, that's kind of your portfolio when it comes to the cryptos. Yeah, it's crypto. It's Dogecoin. I got uh, XRP. Nice. And uh, XLM. And then you've known about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin for a long time, Gary. Cut the next edit. Be sure to uh, like, comment. You know, interact, please. <laughs> Subscribe. Do you think there's any chance the influence of blockchain and cryptocurrency is a touch of God in any way? It's a what? A touch by God a of any way no. for society. No. And I mean that it's potentially waked us up. At, you know, there's a lot of people, Gary, that are young, right? Like my first investment was actually cryptocurrency. Had cryptocurrency not stepped into my life, I might not have touched my own money for investment purposes until probably like 40, 45 years old at the pace I was going. So what I mean is it's awoken a lot of people in society yeah. to the importance of how to allocate your funds. That's what I mean by the touch of God. Okay, I'd use a different analogy of touch of God because, I mean, as a person of, of Christ, you heard the, the mark of the beast? Yes, well, I have some. That's pretty much what cryptocurrency is trying to do is be the mark of the beast where you get that number on you and that's gonna be your currency. I think you can really notice a lot about society and the way that it's bending and manipulating itself with fashion trends. How quick all these companies are to adopt, they say do look. Whereas, you know, 12, 13 years ago, we had the Nike shock. Where, where has that gone? Is he like paranoid cat or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Oh, yes, oh you're did. kidding. Oh, man, that is the <laughs> thing. Talk about the, uh... Well, real quick, can I still ask you guys a couple questions? Man, to go a long way. What's your name? Uh, Josh. Josh, really? Joshua, man, nice to meet you. Oh, for real? Yeah, and? Alan. And Alan. Hey, Alan and Josh, what do you guys think of Bitcoin? Well, I don't, I never like invested in it, but uh, yeah. I do Robinhood like you know, okay. stocks. Like. Yeah, and then when did you start investing? Uh, like a few months ago, like maybe like seven, eight months ago. Okay, and, and then I, Robinhood was your first platform for trading? Yeah, I, I buy like a, a couple, I have a few uh, shares of uh, like Tesla or, or like Apple and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Alan, do you use Robinhood? Okay, and then was your level of adoption about the same time frame? Yeah. Okay, so I mean, what do you guys find interesting? Um, I actually find interesting the like, like how how you can grow like money over time. Yeah. Yeah. And Just like, the general investment, you yeah. know, in, in in its entirety. Exactly. That's good, man. How old are you? I'm 19. 19. I gotta say, bro, Josh, being that level-headed at 19 to start seeking out investments, right? It leads me to ask my next question. Do you guys think there's any chance that cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is influenced by God in any way? I never really thought of it like that, but uh, maybe there's 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 always links to and conspiracies for everything. So yeah, like, yeah. And how I'm linking it is like more more or less right. Picture Michelangelo being inspired in spirit to make the beautiful pieces of artwork that he did. Potentially, someone was inspired to make this new emerging technology that it's allowed more people to be behooved of knowing what their money can do for them. You're 19 years old. When I was 19, man, I spent all my money on like drugs and getting drunk, right? And I just wanted to party and you got investments, bro. Anything to say for anyone else that's around you guys' age that's maybe not investing and in, as to why they should? Uh, well, I would say uh, put your money into, well, start start investing young or as soon as you can if, if if you're not young just start as soon as you can so that way you can grow money over time like it's better to start young of course yeah yeah hey that's a level-headed answer too man i gotta say did you what were your grades in high school man uh well i, I had a uh, a's and b's and stuff yeah so, yeah but that's not what it did it for you right yeah there's I, more I, to life yeah just uh it's more about being street smart sometimes, you know? I get that. Yeah. Hey, it was good meeting you, man, okay? Sure. And now, good meeting you, okay? You guys stay safe. Sure. Hey, thank you guys so much. <laughs> Just, you know, another interview here, downtown Houston. It's a really good area. How are you guys doing? Can I ask you a couple questions about Bitcoin? I film a documentary. No? Okay, you guys enjoy the evening, okay? was episode 14 of What the Bitcoin. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're actually just leaving Guitar Center. I thought I was gonna have bags full of audio equipment goodies. I was looking at a lapel mic for myself as well as a microphone I hand to the folks that I interview that connects to an inter interface that would go in my pocket. But no one wanted to sell to me. I was also prepared to justify some podcast equipment for me and my friends to have some fun. Why not? We hang out and talk all the time anyway. But no one wanted to sell. How, how do I feel good as a consumer to give my money to a company that doesn't, even, that doesn't even want it? I guess I'll do my own research, folks. And my research is going to be great. But maybe I need to consult the streets on what I need to buy. But I won't do that. We got to keep it to Bitcoin. Keep it to how Bitcoin relates to God. Mostly how society relates to Bitcoin and how society is relating to God currently in 2021, March 29th. Well, we've already filmed today's episode. We'll see how the world's reacting tomorrow, March 30th in episode 15 of What the Bitcoin. Until then guys, stay safe and stay tuned.